Little mix up here on the bench. Both coaches are over there talking to the ref, trying to figure out the situation. Looking at the other mat, uh, that matchup over there against William Penn and Dana is looking a little bit closer. It's 24 to 16 at the 149 pound weight class, so they're one class behind us. Looks like we got stuff figured out, back to the action. Shoots the leg. He wants to get in deeper when he shoots that shot. You get caught like that, and the opponent is able to put a headlock on it. He's going to be able to spin around and get two points on you real easy. Just like that happened right there. Two points for Gavin Martin. Puts BV in the lead. Out of bounds, going back to the middle of the mat. One point escape for Briar Cliffs wrestler. Second period, as you see, 30 seconds left. Vita Vista's on top, five to four. Seems like a lot of the wrestlers like to work around the edge of the mat, Tim. I don't know if it's those cheerleaders over there or what, but they sure <laughs> like that edge. Second period winding down. Martin works to maintain control. No points awarded at the end of that hat or at the end of that period. In order to score a takedown, you have to control your opponent's hips. And uh, obviously in that situation, nobody uh, established control. Gavin Morton is going to start out on top for BV. Maintaining a one point lead, going into the final two minutes of the meet. More than likely what will happen, uh, Briar Cliff will get an escape sooner or later, and then the score will probably get tied up in this third period, and then it will be go for the last takedown as we saw in the last match. Unfortunately in the last match, it did not work out in BV's favor. Martin remains on top. One point escape for Briarcliff. Good call, Tim. Ties up the match. Five to five. Here it comes down to a little bit of conditioning to see who's in better shape. Who's going to want it more? Working on the edge of the mat, they probably want to circle back in, keep the action moving. Referee blew that one out of bounds, no position controlled. Going to start up in a neutral position, hoping for a takedown. As you can see in the background, the last match on the other mat is finished. Quite a bit closer than what this match is. Final score was 24 to 19.
45 seconds left in this match. Here it is. Two points. What Gavin's going to want to do is get an escape really quick. Get up, get the score to like one point, you know, and then he's going to go for the takedown. But the way he's been wrestling here lately, uh, Briar Cliff's been kind of dominating. Oh, he's got some on the back. That's just... Three points back points, so that puts him at a one point lead. That was a nice move by Gavin Martin. Should also have a reversal for that, which would be an extra two points. So that'd be a total of a five point move. The referee obviously not seeing it how I did. He's uh, only gonna give, gonna give back points. I think Coach Baxter saw it the same way you did because the look on his face, he was kind of questioning it too. It's kind of hard to say that uh, you got somebody on their back and you don't have control of their body. You know, that that's a, a good argument to make in a situation like that. There's only 31 seconds left in the match. But the referee did go and give him the five-point move. So he's up by three. I guess you talked him into it, Tim. I, I do my best. One-point escape brings it within a two-point match, so Gavin Martin has to watch out for the takedown here. He doesn't want to get called for stalling. Seventeen seconds left on the clock. You want to stay aggressive enough to make it look like you're not stalling, but still you want to go and stay away so you don't risk getting a takedown. Match is over. Nice job by Gavin Martin pulling that one out in the last 45 seconds of the third period. That five point move really was the key to this match right here. Very impressive with the Univista victory there. Final score would have been 44 to 12, or 44 to nine, excuse me, in favor of BV, defeating the Briarcliff Chargers out of Sioux City. Tim, your final thoughts on basically the whole meet that we just took a part of. Uh, a lot of good things we saw, a lot of positive uh, matches, a lot of guys won. Uh, Coach Baxter is probably more pleased with that uh, duel compared to the last one they had. They didn't have quite near as many mistakes, but let's go ahead and take a break and bring it on back in a little bit. You're watching Innovation Sports. At Baker's Court in Storm Lake, our menu just keeps getting bigger and better. Why? Because you deserve it. If you're looking for something a little different, then try one of our new marinated entrees, served hot off the grill. Or try one of our fantastic new chicken wraps. Marinated chicken breast combined with savory ingredients and wrapped in a unique wrap. All of our new menu items come with Storm Lake's only soup, salad, and ice cream bar. We hope to see you soon at Baker's Court, Highway 7 West. the reasons lions roar is to warn threatening bachelor males from other prides to stay away from their young. Here, a lion cub gets a lesson in proper roaring from its father. Teaching this behavior is not just crucial to the pride, but also to the survival of the species. Just a reminder how important it is for fathers to spend time with their children. Here's my nephew Scruff, about to run into trouble again. Hey, Bobo, where's your video game? In here. Oh, look at this. Uh oh it's my dad, so I want to hold it. What will I do? You'll see, but that's not the only problem he has. Hey, here's a shortcut. Not down there, Square. I don't think it's safe. Come on, the coast is clear. I'm not taking a chance, Lance. Oh, no. Well, well, hello, dog face. Come to give us your sneakers. Uh-oh. Trouble again, Scruff. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. If you get my new comic activity book, More Adventures with Scruff, you'll find out what you can do about bullies. 
drugs and guns. Am I the hero again? You'll see. And you'll see lots of games. Cool. For your free copy of my new comic activity book, write Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. And you'll be helping take a bite out of crime. I want it, I want it! here on the campus of Univista University. As you just saw, coming up at one o'clock, Northwestern is gonna take on BV. Right now, our very own Mandy Myers is standing next to Savon Cole, one of the Univista wrestlers. Let's find out what they have in store for us. All right, thanks guys. Um, BV had another great win, and beside me is Savon Cole, who is last year's conference champ, and he wrestles 174, excuse me, but he's currently out. Um, have you been out for about three weeks, is that right? Yep, it's been about and three weeks. for a bruised rib, is that correct? Uh, I just tore cartilage in my rib right where the, uh, the bone meets the cartilage. just kind of just tore away right there. Uh -huh. And so uh, I've just been trying to heal it up. It's really not hurting too bad anymore, so I'm really ready to go. So since you've been out, what have you been doing to prepare yourself to return? Uh, Mike Petticord, uh, he's a trainer here uh, at BV. He's been uh, helping me and Aaron Shellhorn, who's out right now too, our 84-pounder. We've been helping us out. We've been doing some sprints and stuff. Um, we've been getting in the weight room on the bike, uh, doing sprints on the bike. Uh, he just makes up some stuff for us to do and tries to keep, his sh keep us in shape. Sounds great. So when are you expecting to return? Um, actually, I'm, as of right now, I'm planning on going live in the room, uh, just practice on Monday. That'll be the first time back. Sounds great. Well, you guys have about a little over two weeks to conference. What's the team doing to get ready for the big meet? Um, everybody's just trying to work real hard right now. Um, everybody's getting bumped and bruised. It's getting to be a long season. You know, everybody's getting worn down. They're just trying to stay in, stay in it, get a little bit more rest, and uh, try to get healed up from all the little bumps and bruises. Sounds great. We'll look forward to seeing you at conference again. Well, thank you for taking time out, and we'll send you back up to Mark and Tim. Thanks, guys. Okay, thanks, Mandy. Thank you, uh, thank you, Simon, for taking your time out and talking with us today. We look forward to your return, Simon, and good luck with the rest of your season. Tim, we just saw another basically dominating victory by VV. Final score, 44 to nine. Coming up at one o'clock, we have Northwestern. How do you view that match or that meet right there? I view that to be another good uh, uh, try for uh, an opponent. But here at the BV Duels, uh, Univis is obviously the, the stronger competitor. Uh, Northwestern right now has a one and three record in duels. They haven't gotten a lot of experience. So there's not much you can really expect from a team that's already gotten their season off to a 23 and three start. They've gotten 22 more wins during the season than them. So there's not much you can really expect. With Just an challenge. interesting thing looking at Northwestern's lineup. Looks like Nick Field's not going to get another match today because 125 is open for Northwestern. So uh, we just got a word in from our producer. It looks like they're going to try and start this next meet or next match set of matches at 12:30 instead of one o'clock. So you're going to have to stay tuned a little bit sooner than we thought, Tim. Let's run down the Northwestern College lineup that we'll probably see today. Like we said, 125 pound is open. At 133, we got Tom Kraus. I almost thought that said Tom Cruise. I'm thinking, wow, that's nice. <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> that would have been cool. At 145, it's Nathan Martin. He's a junior out of Rockwell, Iowa. At 149, it's Seth Gibson. At 157, it's Craig Dolan. You want to take 165, Tim? Uh, 165, you got Tom Garcia or Mike Wheel Dryer. Uh, 174, Aaron Schmidt or Tim Hurtgel. Hurtgel. Uh, 184, we got Kent Dezu. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name, but 197, you got Ezra Stubb Strubel or Strube. And heavyweight, you got Levi Macward or Mike Powasarat. I, I'm sorry, I... Hey, Tim, let's just go back uh, to the full-page graphic that we have made up and 
you and I will take a break and try to pound some sense into our heads on how we say these stupid names. Well, stay tuned at 12.30 p.m. Univista will take on Northwestern right here in the Seaman Fieldhouse.